go to <laughs> this. Music it? I think he's wired in you. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's our favorite segment. It's the one where one of these times myself or Kyle or Matt is going to throw our shoulder out dunking on EJ. <laughs> or my um, son. Or my son. Or, or your son. Family at risk, EJ. That's not nice. Uh, but nonetheless, here we are. Now, Kyle, again. As we, as we remind everybody, for those watching on the video side, on Twitter, on Facebook, on YouTube, uh, there's a graphic to go along with this. It is EJ's top 10 and bottom five power rankings of the week. So as hard as it is to to look to the other side or to not look at the other side, um, let's uh, let's just look at the bottom five. EJ, what is your bottom five? Bottom five, 23-2. Here we go. 28, the Rams. 29, the Raiders. You're so wrong already. How, do we get, how? No, stop. 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 That's a stop. misprint. That's a misprint, do I think? I hope so. Is it? The Raiders part. No, they're not in the, top, the bottom five. No, they're not in the bottom five. Hold on. That might be a misprint. Hold on a second, guys. No, because they won this weekend too. Oh, you know what? That's 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 my bad. That's my bad. Hold on. Thank God. I, uh, I that was last week. That was, yeah. That 29th, was the, 29th of the Colts. Tw- no, 28 is the Panthers. 29th is the Colts. 30 to Texans, 31 the Bears, 32 the Cardinals. That's the actual Well, you're moving line. them too slowly, but at least they're going in the right direction. By the way, the commanders need to be in the bottom five. I don't care if they won the fucking football in game. In fact, hold on. In fact, this is the wrong list, uh, Mr. Jim. The entire thing is wrong. This is the wrong list. This is last week's list. This is last week's list. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. Let me I, knew, I, knew, I knew that was weird. All right. Let me get this off the screen. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, folks at home. Hey, Should what about my heart palpitations? Wondering if you've reached a new low. Good I'm, 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 I'm like, I know I'm. I, I say silly shit, but the Raiders' bottom five is not something that silly. You know, so I'm like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, no, like you, you, you're. You, I mean, the Cardinals were obviously correct. You, you like even pro football focus got that one right. Yeah. Um, you're well, they were, they were and I wasn't here to comment this week while Jim, you know, uh, makes the adjustment. Well, well, I wasn't here to comment last week that you're just entirely too low on the Texans and the Colts. Yep. Like this is up there with Ab Stanley putting the Jags at 31 last year. No. Okay? Um like they didn't no. they didn't move. They didn't move at all. Um Who Texas, didn't move? Texas stayed where they were last week. Okay, so you're wrong. Days. You're fundamentally okay. wrong. And you're okay, st- no, no, we'll, I, we'll break it down. Um just just, just until as, as Jim goes up here. 28, 28 Panthers, 29 Colts, 30 Texans, 31 Bears, 32 Cardinals. No, th- this no, no. No, it's okay. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I live for this every Tuesday. First of all, What's how up? are your Giants not in the bottom? I almost, I, they were almost there. Oh, no, we all I those 40 to nothing bombing, and they're not I, in the bottom five. I expect a, 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 a improvement this week. If, if, look, if they lose to the Cardinals this week, they're gonna probably gonna be number 32 next week. Just saying. So, there it is. So there it is there. All right. Why are they not? Why are oh. they not 28? wrong they That's- i could i do when i when i did this when i when i just did this list on sunday night sunday night they were number 28 actually oh, 29 actually so what what how did the panthers go to 28 then the panthers didn't play last night to to show no, you they I, were I, worse. I, I actually watched more of the highlights of the game I, look the giants are bad also too but i think for, for the giants to go from from like what probably top you know 16 to like all the way down to to, to, you know that, that's a big that's a massive draw. so 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 here's the thing here's the thing right. when i'm when i'm when i'm looking at them right is when you when you make the preseason one mm-hmm. you're basing it off of a lot of things conjecture from the year before <laughs> like right. what happened a year before and what you think is going to happen now right right okay. so a lot of that plays play. it's yeah. a problem with preseason polls in college football right right because there's no actual landmark now we have one week of actual landmark. I think Dallas the Giants arguably were the worst team on Sunday. No, arguably right, but I think a lot of that on Sunday had more to do with Dallas. How good Dallas is, honestly. Okay. Bad game for the Giants. Like I, I said, okay, if you're past twenty to 20, twenty or twenty-five to nothing, then maybe I'm hearing that forty. 
Right. They're not, they're not Four a D team yet. I need a I need a large I, I need a larger sample size of a playoff team last year. You know, play, hold on. That won a playoff game last year too before I, start five. I care. My rankings. You're That's wrong. <laughs> well, you're here to tell me you're wrong. All no, right. Just, this is I gotta give him this much credit, Jim. Okay. Okay. For the first time in his entire life, this is the most Giants Homer thing he's done. That's fair. <laughs> Again, if they That's lose fair. the Cardinals this week, Homer. though. Because okay, I, I, what, about, what about the Cowboys? That's all I say about that. So right. again, tw- to listeners, twenty eight tw- Panthers, twenty nine Colts, thirty Texans, thirty one Bears. Because I Cardinals. have I, for, on mine, on mine, I have the I have the Cardinals at thirty two, but I have the Giants at thirty one. Okay, where are the Vikings? Uh, like I said, I think the Vikings are better than both these five these teams. So again, asinine. I, I, okay. So um, I don't think it's, I think it's, I think Aston's a little bit of a strong word because I mean no no it's really not no. the only two I, I could start taking out here, well I don't know I if, if if I were to change one thing on this list here honestly I might move the Colts up one spot that's it the Colts shouldn't be in the bottom five agreed okay okay the Colts should not be in the bottom five even though and here's here's one thing I'll say like even though ultimately I don't think they belong or will be in the bottom five if you're going off of one week sample just on what we saw on sunday regardless of who they were playing i think there's a better argument for the steelers in the bottom five from what we saw mm-hmm. than the colts but again much like the same I, way I with know the, where he's going with that yeah right it's gonna be it's gonna but, be the mm-hmm. fact that the niners are that good more than the steelers are that bad it's the same play with the giants and the cowboys game it's more about the Dallas you still cowboys. haven't explained adequately minnesota you still haven't explained adequately um, okay, I'll, I'll tell you now. I'll, I'll tell you right now. I have a hard time putting playoff teams last year in just one week sample. But they the immediately. Now. They've gotten rid of significant pieces of their offense. They still, the, they still have the quarterback. They still the quarterback. They still the quarterback in play. Oh, you mean the guy so. that's known for being a choke artist? No, and yeah, mean- prime time, yeah, in prime time. In, in just prime time, huh? Okay, cool. Um, whatever. You still haven't explained past um, why the Titans are safe from this conversation because the Colts sure as hell had better quarterback play than the Titans, but we don't have to talk about that. You know, that would be intelligence. Um, where are the Seahawks? Everything that we hear about, what did they do last year? If the Seahawks aren't here, I found a hole. How many teams do you take out of the bottom five? Obviously, the Colts out. Who else take out of the bottom five out of here? The Panthers do not belong in the bottom five. The Texans do not belong in the bottom five. The Colts do not belong in the bottom five. So three teams. I've three given you teams. three teams. Okay, three teams. Okay. You're Actually, wrong, but anyway. Four, okay. but. Well, the four, who the four did it? Car- the Bears? The Giants? No, no, no. The, the teams. Ta- I- mm-hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. The teams. You're, you're asking for teams that should be in the bottom five ahead of the Panthers, Colts, and Texans, correct? Yeah. Now, the Panthers may still find their way back, but they didn't show me enough to think that they were in the bottom five yet. You know, also but, okay. Go ahead. No, no, no. Fire away. Also worth noting. Uh, last week I had well, yeah, three teams in. Yeah, three of the teams that were in the bottom five last week were are still in here now. So yeah. Yeah, which is why we are showing the consistency of your trash. Shall we continue? <laughs> Anyways, um, the <laughs> oh, this is this is boring. This is boring. The, bo- the, the bottom five is boring. I, 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 I wait for the top ten. All right, go ahead. That's why. Now there I, we go. I, 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 I've mentioned the teams I should should go in the bottom five ahead of the ones that I have beef with. I think the Bears are fine at 31. I got no mm-hmm. problem with that. I wouldn't mm-hmm. put them there. I think the Giants belong there. Um, but the Bears at 31 is not a so problem. My, so, so my, this real quick, my logic on the on the Giants, I guess I mean there is because of the fact that play and the Seahawks too. Let's agree. Playoff teams last year. Because let's last see more. Year. Let's huh. see more. Let's see more. Let's see more. Second Some of week. us didn't need to. Some of us picked these teams. Yeah, but that's all right. But this is, this is my rankings. So that's right. So cool. Anyway. 10 to 1. Here we go. Number 10, the Jets. 9, Ravens. 8, Lions. 7, Jaguars. 6, Dolphins. 5, Bengals. 4, Eagles. 3, Cowboys. 2, Chiefs. 1 is Kyle's Niners, baby. By the way, you have stolen swag from your team because you're that fucking predictable. Because if you listen to the student of the game report, bing, yes. I said if you would yes. put the 49, if you did not pick the 49ers at the top, um, that I would buy swag, another piece of student of the game swag for your family. And now you stole it from them. So I'll make sure to text but, but your but wife. As you, but but as you know, though, and I admitted on the show, I already sent in the list to, to, to Jim before. Yeah, exactly. There, so. Right, and, right. That's hey. why we made the bet is because it was already, you know, he's not that big an a-hole. So let's keep going. 
So you want to let me get my explanation with some of these things yeah, first before we go? No, 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 go ahead. I, okay, I, so real quick, I know a lot of people at home are going to say why the Jets attend to hire Rodgers. Because it's the, the Jets it's are correct. on a holding pattern right now for me. I want to see exactly what they do with Zach Wilson. Because, because and to your point, also Kyle, you actually like this. Their defense actually was, was so impressive that maybe that's that's the thing that might make Jim's prediction come true here, and that the Jets may actually still be a playoff team despite not having. QA Ron. That's enough to make them the tenth best team in the league, buddy. Well, no. Well, okay, yeah. well, remember they did. They didn't win last night. They also fell down four spots anyway. Despite that, so it's not like I'm like they, they they got points for that. They were actually number six or seven last week. Um, um going in week one. So they that's so lost. So I, they're kind of in a holding pattern. I want I want to see next week as Dallas if they hell they win the damn game crown loud. I Let's can see. make a better case. Eh, no, I can't. That's all it did for us. It's more of a holding pattern. Yeah. More, more, of a, more, of a, more of a respect from what it did last night. I, I, I thought last night, this, well, look, despite all everything happened last night, I thought what they did last night was actually kind of impressive considering the fact that they played a Buffalo team that people, like many people, believe they stole best division. You know, that the, the Bills should have ran with that game, never did. They stuck around and they won in overtime. So mm-hmm. I got to give some credit there for some degree. Holding patterns, all this. Um, let me see here. I'm not going to, I'm not going to panic on the Chiefs. You, you should. Lose, you don't have Kelsey. You don't have. You know, uh, uh, the defensive tackle, Chris uh, hey, uh, uh, Jones. Chris Jones, thank you. He's back now. Um, and it, and it, and even with all the errors in that game, they almost won the game. <laughs> People forget yeah. that. So, um, so yeah. playing with that, right? The, the the Chiefs aren't the issue there. One point game, blah blah blah. Get it? Um, the Cowboys, right. as always, a little bit overhyped there. Um, but you know, again, the thirty first worst uh, ranked team in the league, allegedly. Um, actually, and. Allegedly. Uh, yeah, I have the cap for the record. I, I have the Cowboys at five on mine. Ooh. Yeah, you, you also you also playing it safe. I get you, Jim. It's but right. also okay. So here's I have the Dolphins at two. If you want to talk about now, whoa, Jesus really, Christ. So so does Coward, though, to be fair, and Florio. Okay, if you're going to pro football focus, that doesn't improve your credibility. Okay, what you just said is, hey. I have this presidential candidate, and Sean Hannity said it too, so I must be right. You can't do that, EJ. That doesn't I, help your credibility. I don't, have I don't have him too. No, he's Maybe. he's saying that Cowherd and uh, Florio, Florio and the Dolphins at two. Yeah, Florio is pro EJ football. EJ doesn't football. have them at two, for the record. Six is still weird, but that's not even – the Dolphins aren't what I'm questioning. And honestly – Again, Kyle, you, you also have to understand, I am making my list – off of one week sample size. Uh, right. EJ's I, I basing his off of nothing. How he had them ranked last week, what he thinks they're going to do, what they did last year, how their mom's cooking is, injuries, um, how great their fan base is, and what, what the colors look like under uh, well, stadium lighting. Well, so, it's a factor. The Saints should be in the top 10 every <laughs> fucking week. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it, it, my, my, my list gets structured a lot differently than his does. Yeah. And fine. But uh, listen, I'm not. I'm not as mad at the Dolphins to believe it or not. Here's where here's where you got some. The Lions beat your number two team in their only eighth. Number one. Well, yeah. Um, okay. So there's that. Um, the Bengals lost in humiliating fashion, and they're fifth. What in the entire fuck? Are okay, we I don't, I don't have the Bengals what, 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 in my top ten at all. Let me explain this to you. You can always try. You could okay. Try. Okay. So the Lions. I, I still feel like even with it was the person winning in Kansas City last week, yes. It did feel like Kansas City lost that game, though. Again, the drops, the whole nine. It felt like this is why I'm not, I'm not panicking on Casey. I want to reward Detroit still for the win in Arrowhead, but also acknowledging Casey, not a panic move either. So you gotta but give him credit for all you put them behind a team that lost. The Bengals, same situation with uh who lost in the top ten here also that um the Chiefs also. I'm not going to overreact to the Bengals too. Also, you because I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. I told you, I told you, I told you, in the, I told you in the podcast also to the Bengals use week one, week two as a tune up. Um, I want to see. That more. Doesn't mean you were That's fine. Them Don't put them in your top that. ten. Or they, at they, least fall, they, 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 fell, they fell on the rankings though. They fell on the rankings, so they, 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 they got penalized for the record. Did they? This is what a slap in the wrist looks like, buddy. Shit. They went, they went down two spots. You? Remember, like, remember a couple years ago when like Urban Meyer would suspend players for a quarter. For like doing something like really wrong, that's what you're doing to the bank. I think what you, what you see here too with me in my rankings, and I'm sure you know about this now, is that a lot of teams who have 
earn trust through the years, we get a little more leash. Trust. You saw two years ago the Chiefs. Money, money, they got a lot of leash from me for a long time because of their of what they've done through the years. Niners have that same trust. The Lions are nine and two in their last eleven. Cool. Put them higher. Cool. Bitch. Do it again next week. <laughs> Do it again. They're already nine and two. It was playing last year. Cool. Next question. Wow, really? That's your answer. That matters to me also too. It matters well, to me also too. If you make the tournament last year, matters in this year's top ten. To agree, it does. Yeah. If you have the That's same team, yeah. Stupid. Point. Have the same core, yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Well, well, I, okay. There was, but there was also a lot of people that after week six or seven last year were burying the Lions because. You know, there was hype going into last season. They had a rocky start, and everybody was like, ah, see, look, the Lions are hot garbage. And then they rattled off a bunch. Now, yes, they, they had a they had a slip-up game in Carolina. But yes. again, like, they're 9-2 and two in their last 11, and they just beat the Super Bowl but you act, But you act like this is a penalty to the Lions. Like, but do you, you're focused oh, on Lions, the wrong thing, though. The, the Bengals are still better than five to, well, I don't know that the Jets outperformed them necessarily, but then five teams that you're, scored. You're, you're not going to tell me that the Lions are better than Bengals. This football team they, I have a shot to believe that because if they take advantage of that garbage ass offensive line in the same fashion that the Browns did, which in your defense, I don't know that they're capable of doing or not, but that's not the way you pose this. You've never posed this that, hey, if this team plays this team, they're going to win. You, I could tear that apart here. It you plays one, it play, it plays to a degree. Yeah. Here, I'll go one better. If the Lions <laughs> play the Bengals this week, give me the Lions because, as EJ has so aptly pointed out, the Bengals use these first couple weeks as tune-ups. Boom! You give me the Lions who are rolling nine and two in their last eleven over the Bengals, licking their wounds over getting pistol whipped by the Browns. <laughs> and still trying to figure shit out in week two. So yeah, to be, to be I'll, fair, take the Browns, Bengals, I'll take the Lions. I'll take the Lions. The, the Browns being the Browns as bad as they've been in the last couple of years have been getting the Bengals issues. Like I said, when they were like one in six in the last three years. Okay, wait, it's, why, a weird, it's a weird, it's a weird matchup though. Why do they get that grace and then nine and two doesn't do a goddamn thing? And, so, and so, so by your logic, then the Browns should be in the top ten now too. Also, I have the Browns at ten. For the you, oh my god, you do. Interesting. <laughs> if the if the Bengals were one of the two best teams in the AFC. And in one again, one week sample size, and and for me, that's the, these first couple weeks are, are the most volatile because there's going to be a lot of up and down. There's going to be a lot of moving on the Richter scale. But if the Bengals are one of the two best teams in the AFC, which I'm pretty sure we all kind of agree, I think we all have the Bengals winning the Super Bowl. Yes, we right. Do. Okay, go to the simulcast. We all have the Bengals. So if the Browns come out and kick their fucking teeth in. Then yeah, that's a top ten performance for me. We 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 sit here and complain about how people overreact week one, and you guys are literally doing the same damn thing right now on this podcast. What do you mean literally? There's nothing literal about it. They need to fix. I'm not sitting here saying the Browns are going to go to the playoffs and contend for the AFC. I'm saying in terms of a power ranking because that's what a power ranking is, especially week one for me. Again, this is how you talk about. Well, this is your list. This is my list. Hmm. I can go by one week. The the, the the 2023 2024 NFL season is one week old, and to me, the Cleveland Browns had a top ten performance based on what they did to to Cincinnati last week. So, Jim, you have what? What is your what is your ten? I don't yeah, know. What's your top 10? 10? What, what, what your ten? Oh, let me pull it up here quick. Um, so yeah, I, have the Browns, I, I have the Browns at ten. I have the Jets at nine. I have the Ravens at eight. Jaguars seven. Lions six. Cowboys five. Eagles four. Chiefs three. Dolphins two, Niners one. You just hurted me. That's I. Because it's hard for me to bang the Jets down because the defense does look like. But you gave me shit hurt. to start the segment with the Jets at 10. When he has them higher than I do. No, I backed off on that. Okay. okay. What I reset was my biggest beef is the Bengals in the top 10. That's unacceptable. Which I don't have. Okay. And the Lions are too low. Which Jim repairs. I have them higher. <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you is that Jim is thoroughly dunked on your bald head. <laughs> um, no issue with Eagles to be down two spots despite winning this week? No. I, I can okay. see why you did it. I, I know that Matt would probably complain because he's a homer. But, um, you know, about Homer, a team that's losing 
um, being ranked ahead of the Eagles such as they were. But Chris Jones is confirmed back. By the way, spoiler alert, if you watch the Student the Game podcast tomorrow night, that will be streaming right here on the Huddle Up YouTube channel. Um, there'll be a high likelihood I pick against the Jaguars in that. I haven't decided yet, but, man, it's going to be a factor. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm the same way. Yeah, so I, I just <sighs> – uh, I'll I'll give you this much credit, EJ. Your bottom five is way worse than your top ten, but your the single biggest crime is easily the Bengals. I'm shocked you guys are shit on the Bengals as you are. I'm really surprised. I get not that bad. No, I know, but I get I whooped. But listen, hey, I'll give you this though, EJ. I give you this. There's a high likelihood that they'll crawl back into the top ten in week three because by then, to your point, they would have figured it out and looked like a top team. And team I expected that. The Bengals in the sure. long run are going to be fine, and like, like that's that's the difference between like power rankings versus predictions. Is is that the, those are two separate globes that you're looking at, and especially at the, after one week. But I know everybody that does, does rankings, they always weigh in what they think is going to happen. If they still feel good about 18 despite a slow start. Well, I mean, if, if by, by that logic, then then, then 18, every, every single team should be here either. Then. I have and a feeling they'll lose against the Steelers, too, next week. That's something that can happen. I mean, so here's the thing. If, if, I, this, if you want to if you want to base at least a like a starting point, right? Like if you want to like you 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 have your top thirty two theoretically speaking before the season starts or whatever, like if that if that's your starting point that's fine, but like basing power rankings on how you think a team is going to do in the future, I think you're doing it wrong, because a power ranking is based on what we have seen, and what we know. Now you want to you want to predict differently if you want to put like you're 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 kind of having the Bengals at five because they're going to be fine they're going to be one of the best teams in the conference that's a prediction that's not a power ranking you know what's funny last year when i did this when i bang because last year when Bengals lost early in the year i did penalize, penalize them a little bit and i got shit for that but it wasn't a dominant a game where they got obviously crushed. Joe Burrow was still fresh off of the surgery, just like he was off that injury. And what the Steelers had to pull out of their ass to win in overtime is not the same as getting mollywhopped by the fucking Browns by three touchdowns, buddy. It's not. I get. It. I mean, like I said, they were down two spots. I, I get it. I'm wrong. Yeah, okay. No, no, no. I, no, I, I, I like. This is an opinion. It's nothing to do with the uh, right or wrong here. You know? In fact, of course. You know, so but uh, was that? I said you're still wrong. <laughs> I love you, EJ. All right. Hey, we... It's your fault. You're not getting more swag. I'm just. <laughs> well, Niners are right. I mean, Niners are one is, is absolutely not correct. Yet. Niners are Niners are one. I, I, I don't, like. If you're debating that off, because here's the thing, regardless of how you feel about the Steelers, that that was, I mean, the, like the, the Cowboys, if you look at 40 to nothing and 40 to nothing only, you, you might go, well, that, that's more dominant. I think what the, what the Niners did to the Steelers, who I, I think there's a, a prevailing belief um are a, are or will be a better team than the Giants. Um, you know, what the Niners did to them is more impressive than what the Cowboys did to the Giants. Okay. Cause like let's like let's be fair. Um the blocked kick return for a touchdown, that don't happen every day. The, you know, hitting Barkley and the ball miracles itself into the hands of a Cowboys defensive back with nobody in front of him, that doesn't happen every day right so like the, the, the 14 of those 40 points were to a degree luck now with there's no guarantee the cowboys wouldn't have gone down and scored but there's also no guarantee that they would have gone down and scored touchdowns so those 14 could have easily become six and then what it's it's 32 or 30 or you know it could have been a much different score it could have been a a, a, a smaller uh margin of victory for dallas but so I think what the Niners did is is certainly more impressive. So that that's why the Niners are one, and I think that's fine. You know, at the end of the day, it comes down to who was a better hunter. Did you trap a rabbit in the forest? Or did you just take down a fucking T Rex? Just saying. Well, again, <laughs> calling the Steelers a T Rex. Let's let's in the trenches at least. Fair. I, I 
some of what, and I understand what, how good the Niners, de- especially defensively, are. Do you? But though, like, do you? there's, there's, to me, there's, there's concern, a little bit of concern about what the Steelers are, and the, the kind of why I didn't have them as my uh, wild card three in the AFC. Yeah, well, that, and, like, and while, while market, they should be better. They should right. be a good team. I don't know that I'm ready to to kind of put them on. I don't want to say pedestal because I don't think you're crowning them as one of the AFC's best. But like, yeah. I think there's there's concern in some some mar- margins there that like, let's let's hold off and let's see what the Steelers can do over like maybe the first six or so weeks uh, of this season. <laughs> when the schedule we surely will. I get it. Kyle, to your point, though, this is why I feel terrible now. So, Florio has the same five teams in the bottom five as I do. Not the same order, but the same same five teams. He has uh, Bears, Panthers, Texans, Colts, and Cardinals in that order. Tell me you don't watch out the games without telling me you don't watch the fucking games. <laughs> but his top ten is weird as shit. Niners one, Dolphins two, Eagles three. This is where it gets weird. Jets four, Chiefs five, Cowboys six, Jaguars seven, Lions eight, uh, Ravens nine and uh, Bills ten. And as a side note, and I know some of the Bills me. ten. <laughs> like what? what? Did he what? Did he watch that? <laughs> like and, and everyone brutal. has the Jaguars at seven. I can make the point that they allegedly did bad and still scored thirty one points, but nobody wants to talk about that. I think everybody has Jaguars at seven. I think Colin had, had them at seven twenty two in the hierarchy. I don't I know. believe. Anyways. Let's get the hell out of here, boss man. 